connection. Well, hey, uh, we are on, um, we're live on Spreaker right now. I love it when decides, oh, there we are. Hey, Facebook. Took me a little bit, but we got it done. Do you want to tag me? Yes. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Doing, doing some, there you go. Uh, in Technical any case, stuff. Technical stuff. Press the live button. Facebook said, eh, connection is too low. But right here, I can hear this. It's a router. It's a router. I don't know what they're talking about. In any case, uh, welcome to R Real Talk with Deb and Will. We Good are morning. we are simulcasting this morning. We are on the um, uh, on Facebook Live, and we're also doing this live on Spreaker, which which gets pushed to iHeart Radio, iHeart.com, so you can listen to the audio version. At work. At work, <laughs> when you're supposed to be working. No, some jobs let you listen to music while you're at work, and you can listen to talk. Or you can just listen to it while you're working, get paid. Don't do that. Or do that, I don't care. I can listen to work, Lee. Really? Yes. Oh. I can listen to anything I want yeah, my while students, I'm at work. My students get bugged when I'm listening to something other than them. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it because you're a teacher. Yeah, and, and they don't let you even have a... I can't even bring my cell phone out of the break room at my other job. I can't even have it in my pocket. I can't check the time. I can't have it. I have to... I have to you can leave it in the car, put it in the locker. Watches. That's what they're for. Yeah, but I don't have a watch. And you know why? And you know why? I don't, I don't like watches. I've never liked watches. So, anyway. I've always worn a watch. I, so I feel naked without look, a watch. Look here. You see no tan line here? You can't see that on the on the podcast, but there's no tan line. So I, haven't, I haven't worn a watch since I was, I don't know, in elementary school. <laughs> and I lost the first one, which sort of gives you an idea. In any case, um... The t today's show is, I think, an interesting topic um, because when you guys got married, those of you who are married or those of you who are getting married, uh, th the the wedding there is so much to do that so you that on. you don't have any idea about. <laughs> you don't have any idea, um, and people are really good, I think, about offering their advice about what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, what cater you bit too much. what cater you should be using, where you should have it. Who you should have officiate, how your wedding should go, Stuff what you should really wear. Don't matter oh, about the marriage. And it's just, it's just, it just, it was ways like this. I mean, it, and, and everybody, and everybody seems to have a bit of advice for you for the wedding. Everybody does. Um, but with all that, all the advice that you got, what piece of advice did you, do you wish now that you had gotten? Now this now this is going to be for people who are at every stage of marriage, whether you've been married fifteen minutes or you've been married, you know what, sixty years. What piece of it can you look back and say, "Golly, I wish somebody had told me that." Um, that might have made this journey better, different, um, less rocky, uh, or whatever that you had gotten. And even and especially if, if you were if you're divorced now. What piece of advice would you have got that you wish you had gotten then? No, don't do it is not a piece of advice. No, 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 no that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what piece, would, would, piece of advice that would you have gotten that could have possibly saved your better. marriage. Yeah, exactly. And it we, could have saved your marriage if you had have known this information. If you had known and you had been able to take advantage of or it. Or made your marriage less stressful. Less stressful. Because, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. Marriage can be stressful. This is not, this is not an endeavor... For cowards and wimps, it is not no. an endeavor for cowards and wimps. You're going to be stressed sometimes, and which is why we drink coffee. Go else? Got my Seminole cup this morning because I did it. On, I did it on purpose too. Okay. Go knows. You don't give a crap you what y'all say. You gotta support the knows. Don't care what you say. Go knows. Yeah, Go they're Willie not T. winning every game. Go right Willie now. T. Let's get this done. And, but they are improving. And you have to stay with people. When okay, this is not about football. No, but this, this is about loyalty, though. And mm -hmm. and 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 any relationship require that's going to be good requires a certain amount of loyalty. Before you became a Florida State fan, is there anything you want somebody to tell you? <laughs> it's going to be tough sometimes. It's going to be rough. It's going to be stressful. <laughs> you are not going to be able to watch the entire game no. without turning it off. Turning it, 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 it back on, somebody. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, so so there is a connection. It 
I see. I, I, I put everything together because I'm simple. Um, so I asked Deb last night, uh, what piece of advice would she have been, would she wish that somebody had given her uh, when we were newlyweds? And um, she's going to tell you or what before. that is. Or before. Or even before. Before we got married, I really wish. And, and I say this not only in my marriage, but just me personally. And don't get me wrong, my parents were awesome parents. And they they, they did they did what they knew to do. But I wish my parents or somebody in my life had have taught me the basics of finances. And you know and not just say, Well, don't be getting no credit cards because you, you ain't afford it and blah blah blah. And you know, I wanted something that explained that. Before you get married, I think each of you, you should have some kind of financial counseling as far as marriage. And you need to sit down with a financial planner and both of you, you know, know, know you need to know what your spouse's, your to-be spouse's credit score is, you know, what they have in their savings. What you need to know this stuff because you can't be married for a year and find out, you know, they don't. They don't even know how to balance a checkbook. You know, you need to, to know. Do people still do that? Well, I still have a checkbook. I'm sorry. I think you should know how to balance a checkbook still. Do people still do it? Though? Because not, you don't physically have to have a book, <laughs> Willie Lawson. You need, I'm if just, you have a I'm bank account, you need to know positive and negative. You oh, need to know how to keep your account positive. Because even though we have debit cards now, which to me, some people just can't they can't handle that. And you need to know that you're that type of person before you get married. I, I get a little on my soapbox with this part because mm -hmm. this is what I do for a living. <laughs> and I feel, you know, until I got so really to about 10, 15 years into my career as a banker, I, you know, there were a lot of things that I like, gosh, I wish somebody had told me this 15 years ago. The things that I could have done with the knowledge that I got after the fact. So if you're a parent and you know that your child is getting ready to get married or they're in a relationship with somebody and it's getting serious, they need to talk with that person about their finances. You need to know this stuff before you marry somebody. That's a commitment for life that you need to be able to, to work it out. Because m money is the no, one of the number one reasons why people get divorced. Because you can't figure it out together. It's a major league, it's a major league stressor. It is. It is. Uh, and, to, and to dovetail into what Debbie said, you know what? It, it, isn't ju it isn't just credit and those kind of things. Those are important. But, I, mm -hmm. but, you, know what, but I, you know what? I think that, that learning to invest... Yeah, money. Um, and, 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 you know, in, instead of just waiting on a pension or waiting on mm -hmm. Social Security and those kind of things, learning to invest and learning the power of compound interest, um, those kind of things that I wish that, you know, I, I think that maybe everybody gets to a certain point in life um, that they wish they had taken advantage of when they were younger. Mm -hmm. um, like having an IRA and... Well, and, understanding investment vehicles and how to mm -hmm. take advantage of investment vehicles and... And, and, and how to navigate the, the, the labyrinth that is the tax system. And don't get me started on the tax system, but anyway. Um, but you know what, being able to navigate that minefield that, that that is to, that way you can have a, you know, you can have a little less stress when you get a little older, when your earning potential starts to drop a little bit, because it's going to as you get older. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I think it's one of those things that if you can find somebody to help you now, just because you didn't in the beginning, doesn't mean that you can't now. Yes. You can't now. I mean, I mean, look, look for somebody. There are a lot of people who will, a lot of people who who will help you. We love you too, Ellen. E e even in the situation, hey y'all, um, even in the situation that you're in now, uh, whatever that is, find out, find find some advice. I mean, you can get. Not, it's easier now to get information now than mm -hmm. ever before. Than ever before. I mean. Free I, stuff. I work for a credit union, but you can go onto 
their website and they have a calculator and different counseling stuff, tools and seminars and different things like that that's free to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure other banking institutions have that they too. Do. So take advantage of that. Um, while you're you're dating and stuff, you know, take, have a Friday night time when you sit down and go over your finances together and, and see, you know, where you are, what you plan to do uh, about retirement and what you want to do about different things that are that are going to come up in your career. Are you going to have kids? How much do we plan to invest? Do we want to do the prepaid college this? And now, it's so much stuff in finances and marriage that we just choose to ignore well it, because, because it can be overwhelming it can be and it's and and it's funny and and, and money is one of those things that on, that in everything that you do people get weird about people get weird about money in the church people get weird about money at work people, nobody wants to let anybody know what they make <laughs> you know everybody gets mm -hmm. a little weird about it how much you got in your savings and different things. That's personal stuff. Everybody gets a little but weird about people it. People so. get weird about that. They do. And you know, but you you need to break down and talk with your significant other, you know, about it. Because That's, it will save a lot of nights of fights and I think that what happens is it, the problem comes with exactly what you said in the beginning. Nobody really knows what they're doing. So you are very, very protective of things that you that you know that you don't know what the heck you're doing. Um, so you don't want to talk about it because you know you don't have any earthly freaking idea what you're doing. Because you're embarrassed a lot I mean, of times. It's, it's embarrassing, it's frustrating. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And that gets, and that gets frustrating because you wish you, because you wish you had known. So find uh, somebody who knows and, and then, help you. And, 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 and then get help. I think that that's probably a very... Very good thing if you can get that advice early on, like everything else that we've said to you over the past almost year or so, more than a year, more than a year on MLK Day, it'll be two years. Yes. Okay. You want to? What is it? Said tag somebody. Oh, that Carlton, what's up? Go ahead. There you go. What up, Carlton? Uh, haven't seen you in a while, but hope, hope things are well. Hope you're well. Uh, but, um, you know, so that's the kind of instrument, you know, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, what, if you can get that information beforehand and a lot of people get like spiritual counseling, which is cool, you know, that's important. Their, their pastor talks to them or their priest or whomever talks with them about those kind of stuff. That's stuff that you should do too. You should get marital counseling. You should do that too. I think that's, I think that's important. And, but a lot of times that marital counseling does not include the financial, financial, financial counseling. It, it, it doesn't. So. You should seek that if if you're thinking about it, or you're just newly married, and it's been a, it's, it's been an issue. Seek it out. Like Debbie said, you know, go to your if you have a bank, go to your bank's website and look and see what kind of things they offer. A lot of times, there's a lot of advice right on your own bank's website about products they offer and counseling they offer, um, and a lot of it's free. So check it out. Can't hurt you. Won't put. Free stuff won't put you in a worse place than you are than, than you are now, and it may put you exactly where you want to be in ten or fifteen or twenty or thirty years. So that's a very good piece of advice. And and, and now that you've heard her, now you can't say that you didn't get that advice because you did. You heard it because <laughs> you did. Um, so now you can't say you had you didn't get it. Um, not that that's not you no. Know, and this is not a rebuttal back and forth. This is this is what Debbie. Thought of, and I thought of something else. Can you imagine? I thought of something else. Um, my my thought was that I wish that someone had told me, and I know a lot of guys wish that somebody had told told them that as you get married, there'll be changes, that it won't it won't be the same. Your marriage won't be the same because you won't be the same when you're twenty three years old, twenty four years old. You can't even imagine that you are going to be any different than you are right then. You can't even fathom that you will think differently, that you will have different priorities than you do now. You can't even imagine it. And I understand. <laughs> and I and I, and I, and I, I completely understand. That you won't want the same thing. You will not want the same that things. <laughs> That's true. You know? You can't even imagine that your body will change in ways that <laughs> you wish they didn't. <laughs> You can't even you can't even think that way, and so when 
Uncle Bill comes to you and puts his arm around you and say, hey boy, and it starts giving you that sage advice, listen. Really, listen. Take it to heart. Don't be worried about it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't, don't be scared off by it. But your life is going to change. And the advice that I give to, to, to certain young people is that when you get married, if your life does not change, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're, that's, yeah. that's how you know you're doing it wrong. Yeah, if you got married in your 20s and now you're 40-something and everything's still the same, yeah, you're doing it wrong. You're, you're absolutely doing it wrong. You should be changing, wrong. and your spouse should be changing as time goes on. And it, and it, sometimes when people figure out that they it's not the same and it, that they are changing, they think that, well, I just don't love them anymore. Because they never got told that it was going to change. I don't love him anymore. Well, you love them, but you you can love in different ways once you get older and, and things change and things don't happen the way you want it. And a, and a lot of people freak out because it's not the same and then they that's when they want to leave the marriage. Yeah, and, and if you just got that advice early. Um, and a lot of times, it's, it's and, and, I, and I think that people like to, like to have a fantasy of, you're going to run off into the sunset as you know as tw at 24 years old hand and in hand skipping ever after. you know what yes yeah, yeah, skipping through the you know <laughs> through the meadow and holding hands and that's how your life is going to be forever and that's the ideal but it isn't any it, there's no basis in reality there good morning hey t t Briggs, what's up baby you still in vegas um there, there there's no reality to that and then there is that whole thing that I always talk about, that I've talked about for more than a year, is that is that unmet expectation. Because the expectation was ridiculous to start with. Yes. It was ridiculous to start with. So the idea is that you have to understand that it's going to change. You're going to change. You're going to mature. Uh, your career is going, to, is going to figure in. Children are going to figure in. Uh, your yeah, health condition. Children, your, children change the whole <laughs> aspect. Kids are a game changer for sure. It's a game changer. So all these things are going to happen. And I, you know what? I, and, and and I just wish that somebody had sat down and said, "This is you having a good day today." Yes, because December fifth was one of the best days ever for me. Best days. Was it the fifth? That's not funny because there was one year you forgot. I know. I have never forgot. Not once. Um, but anyway, and uh, the idea is that it was the best day ever. So you want that to be every single day. I understand that. It's not going to be. No. Um, and, 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 that, and, and knowing that at the start, a lot of times, you could, not that you expect it to go south and be awful, but at least when things get tight, tough, stressful, someone has told you that it might this be. Will, this is going to happen. And, and, and it just may be because you're changing a little bit and it's going to take a little bit to get back. You're out of sync and it takes a little bit to get back in sync. That's it. That's it. I, you know, and, and it seems like a simple piece of advice, but I'm going to tell you, be married 30 plus years. Go ahead. I go people say, keep living. Keep living. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite phrases. Now you you wait, you keep living. We'll see. But um, yeah, the idea is that that's a. I think that's a good piece of advice. Um, let's see here. I, 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 back I, to Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Oh, you're on a Greyhound, dude. You are a bus. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I haven't been on a Greyhound since I was thirteen. I was on a Greyhound when I went. No, no, I'm lying. I was in tw my twenties. I went when, when I went and got your mom's car. I, I, I rode a Greyhound last time. And then I drove a gray car back, <laughs> which was better than riding a gray bu a greyhound bus. Well, be safe, T Briggs, because you know you're a yes, greyhound. <laughs> we'll pray for you. <laughs> yeah, let it, yeah, let me know when you get back in the, in, in, in L.A. Um, because, dude, you're on a bus. Anyway, um, but that's one piece of advice that I think that um, if I'd gotten early, that would have changed some of the you know what how you view certain things as they're going on. Um, wouldn't have been in a, a shock 
when you turn 40 something and the are it's early 50s and something just you know your your spouse says something <laughs> and you're like what well when when what huh because because I know for a fact that I am not that 23 year old girl that married this man in Lettuce Lake Park <laughs> on a December the 5th Morning in 1987. I am not that girl. 1987. I look the same, pretty much the same in the facial features, but my body's different. And I, you know, that that young lady would never have been on this asked on this show with him. Never would have done the things that I've done in my career, saying and talking and doing and all this stuff like this. I was so quiet and timid and oh that's yeah, me just too. Debbie. No, you <laughs> what are you talking about? I was. You have never been I was quiet shy and timid. And demure. I was a wallflower. No. <laughs> no. Oh. And and I I don't think you know but back then. He was what I needed at that time to bring this out. Cause I will just, I'm just gonna see. I'm the guy who's just gonna go forward, and 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 even if there are 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 struggles and 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 battles, my only option is, well, what do we do now? Got to go forward. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? We just got to go forward. We could sit here in, in you know in the morass of the present. And the, and the struggles of the now because they're real. I understand, but there's only one way, only one way to go to, is forward, and that's the sort of the approach that I that I, ta I, I I've taken the whole the whole time. It's like, God, yeah, I know it sucks. I know, I know. I'm not ignoring the fact that where we are right now sucks. I'm not ignoring that, but we but we can't stay here. We gotta go that way. There's nothing we gotta to go back move to. forward. There's no choice. There's, no, there's absolutely no choice. Because a, a lot of times we get nostalgic about the past and you know what we used to do and and I think about how we when we were first married, BA, we would we would spend most of <laughs> That's our, before Alex. That's before our son. We we used to spend Who most just turned of our 29, by the way. weekends um, <laughs> on the beach. You we went know, to the beach a lot. Yes, we would pack up for and black just people. Go. <laughs> beach yeah, for black during people. the day a lot. We would stay at the beach on the weekends, and I used to be light like Lionel Richie. No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> and and then we would we had such a carefree life, you know, back then. And now we go to the beach maybe once a year. I haven't, we haven't been to the beach in more than a year. And we say, we say 30 minutes from Clearwater and Anna Maria and, 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 and Reddington Shores and some of the nicest beaches on the Gulf. You never make it. You never make it. Sometimes, sometimes we say we should go and then we don't. Uh, but life, because life changes. That's all there is to it, you know? <laughs> what, what do you say? That Forward. was an Obama <laughs> was slogan. It, uh, no, but no, it wasn't. It, it's just how life is. We gotta just move forward. There, there isn't any choice. Uh, it, I take the idea that my back is always up against the wall because there's nothing to go back. There's nothing to go back to. So you always have to go forward. And again, that piece of advice about how things are going to change that would have been really helpful to that young man that day. Um, that would have been super helpful. Now the financial advice would have been super helpful too. Yes. I, you know what? I'm not. I, I'm not denigrating that. That would have been super helpful that day had someone sat down with me and said, "You know, when you get your first job, here's what you need to start doing, and here's how investment works, and here's how compound interest works to your advantage when, when you're twenty when you're twenty seven, and how that's how you're going to be so happy when you're fifty seven that you did that." So you don't have to keep working until you're 97. <laughs> but anyway, you know what? I think that that those pieces of advice is, pieces of advice are very important. So if you're a married couple, or if you're somebody who uh, or, or, or are contemplating getting married. getting married, find out the things that you don't know. That that's the deal. The things you don't know, find out. Find out. And if you know these things, and you can help a young couple. 
your kids or somebody else's kids with these things instead of chiming in on China patterns and registries and all the stuff that, do, and you know what, and DJs, all the stuff that ultimately doesn't matter. Give them a real piece of advice. Give them a real gift. Tell them how it's going, tell them how it's going to be and how they're going to be successful at it. That's advice they're going to be able to take forward in their marriage and it's going to help them for a lifetime. Offer them something good. Not just a good, not just a good DJ, so they have a good, so you have a great party, or uh, or a baker, so you have a good cake uh, that you're going to. That you don't remember. That half that stuff you ain't gonna care about a year from now. <laughs> a year from now, fifteen minutes after you leave, like where's the cake? I don't know. Yeah, and when you put a piece of cake in the freezer and you try to eat it later, it's gross. It wasn't too bad. It was awful. It really wasn't that bad. It was like styrofoam. Hmm. Wow, this is, all the flavor has been frozen out of this entirely. <laughs> this has a bit of a crunchiness, but not very satisfying. <laughs> but that's not the stuff you're going to care about. That's not the stuff that's going to sustain you. That's not the stuff that's going to sustain your marriage. Um, that's not the stuff that's going to um, lower the stress level. So if you can offer that advice to people, please do. Now, if you've got a piece of advice that you wish you'd been given, write that down in the comments. Um, bo both here on on Facebook Live and on and, and our YouTubers, write that down in the comments um, because I think that that's a, that's super important. Or that or if you're thinking about getting married, something that you don't know about that you wish that somebody you would tell need you. Need help finding answers to that. You know what should we do or whatever. Like I said, it, it with the financing part of it, you may not want to bring up a. a another person in if you don't have a, a personal financial counselor and uh, credit cards are the devil <laughs> credit cards are not the devil <laughs> hey Phil what's up buddy <laughs> but um but uh, bring you know if you don't credit want to bring cards somebody are the mark in of the beast. To, to find out <laughs> your you know where you are in your finances that's a clue that you really need help because you need, even if you're embarrassed to show you're the one that you're getting married with, <laughs> that that should ring a bell with you. That if you are afraid to tell them, you know, hey, my credit is not all that good. So we. My I'm, credit is in single digits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need some help. I got help. a four. <laughs> Which is good because I had a two last month. Well, you're because that, single you, you, you don't know the person that you're marrying may be the, be the best person at that. You need to decide who's going to be in charge of doing the finances and paying the bills and make sure that I don't come home and my lights are out. Or, you know, that you look out the window and your car being towed away. You need to have somebody in, the, the, car in the backyard <laughs> that out, in the house the that house. knows how to manage the finances and do it well and be bold enough. And I think that's my part. That was the problem with our relationship is that I wasn't bold enough to stand up and say, we might not should do that or this and the other, you know, back then. And now... I'm like, yeah. and sometimes he has to get duct tape and I never put duct tape on her. <laughs> he wants to. I never, I never have. <laughs> he wants to. No, no, I don't. I, 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 I never have. Not, not one single time. Um, but, but like I said, you know, it, I mean, you, you don't know what you don't know, and, and yes, and, and when you, and when you're not good at it and you fail at it, of course you don't want to bring it up because you don't want to bring up your failures. Um, and that's we don't want to talk about our failures and it you know it's tough in a marriage and then and then a lot of times when all of that comes out and you find out you've been married for 10 years and this stuff is coming out it can, it, it it can, can be, be very stressful it can be problematical Phil's been, Phil's been married for a while you guys have been married for a while and they put two two kids in college one, one at UCF and one at the University of Florida uh, Phil's from Lakeland mm -hmm. bass player Yes, credit cards can be very bad in the beginning of marriage because you, a lot of people rely on them to pay bills, and that's not what they're for. That's not what they're for. It you, you should and you should only have them at the most two for emergency purposes only. 
or if you are using it for like the points and rewards and all that stuff, you can buy buy your groceries, pay it off when you get paid. I, I advise you always paying it off, paying it off, paying it off so you don't have the interest on there. See, see, <laughs> I, see I knew, <laughs> see, I knew that that would be the deal. You know, Tony Briggs writes on the, on, on the thing like, like I'm Ike Turner. I am not Ike Turner. <laughs> not by any stretch. Of the imagination. <laughs> what? Somebody on our uh, on our Facebook Live has just celebrated how many years? Of my Forty-nine years. Forty-nine. Well, God bless you. Anniversary. Wow. That is awesome. You, that is. You got us beat. You know how to do it. So y'all know how to do it. That's great. So so help somebody else. All right. Listen, we've been on we've been on for about a half an hour. We got to get out of here, making for somebody else because life is like that. We got things. Time goes too fast. It does. We go sixty beats a minute. Never faster or any slower. Uh. Oh, UNF in Jacksonville. That's right. In beautiful Jacksonville. Beautiful, smelly Prepaid Jacksonville. Prepaid college fund is the bomb. Do that. Yeah, that is. And and you, and you and actually, you and, and Philip, correct me if I'm wrong, you actually pay it off well before they go a lot of times, don't you? Mm-hmm. If you start it when they're babies. When they're born. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you, you pay it off well before, I mean, well before they go. So it's never a point of contention. It's just about grades at that point grades mm-hmm. and where they want to go. So that's that's one of the things that we're talking about when we talk about financial stuff, things that, that you don't know. And a lot of times you don't even think about it. You see people get to that point in their kid's life and it's their senior year and then suddenly everybody is freaking out. Uh, you got to... they want to go somewhere you gotta get a you can't afford. You, you got you gotta re- you to get a second mortgage on the house or whatever to pay for that $80,000, you know, education, you know, that women's studies education. Yeah, uh, payments. Uh, Even when, when they graduate high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. Cool, that makes sense. All right, in any case, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, if, and I have to go to work. If you have, I'm going to work later. Yes, we both go to work. I'll be there till nine. That's another thing. Are you going to work? Uh, yeah, I'm going to work. I don't know what else to do. Um, but in any case, um, you gotta get, if you have a again, if you have a piece of advice that you want to give, put it in the comments. If you have a piece of advice that you wish you'd gotten, put it in the comments. Uh, and on YouTube, do us do us a solid. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell, and like some people say, mash. <laughs> mash that <laughs> notification bell. You only mash, mash it. that like. You only mash it if you have a touch screen, but so or click on it. We'd appreciate that. We're we are quickly approaching. <laughs> Thanks so much, too, babe. Um, anyway, we got to get out here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something. Love somebody. And for goodness sake, y'all take care of yourself. And remember this. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now. Bye.